Revenge Films. My name is Michelle. I'm a regular office employee that you would find anywhere. I recently moved in with my boyfriend, Henry, and my life is smooth sailing right now. It wasn't always that way, though, and I was carrying a difficult past with me. It all began in middle school, when I never got my period. Ever since elementary school, I was much smaller and skinnier than the average girl, and even though my friends were getting their periods one by one around me, I just assumed that I would get mine later, so it didn't bother me much. When I got into middle school, I had a big growth spurt, but unlike my friends around me, I didn't feel like my body was developing like a woman. On top of that, I graduated middle school without ever getting my period. At that point, I was starting to get nervous because it was so late. But one day, my mother asked me if my period had come yet. My mom worries a lot about everything, and I wasn't able to tell her the truth, and I immediately lied without thinking. Oh, I got my period the other day, so don't worry about me. Really? You should have told me sooner. I'm going to make you a super healthy dinner now. Yeah, thank you. After that, I started lying to everyone around me that I got my period. Because I wasn't experiencing it for myself, I went online to look up information so that would help me to naturally talk about it with my friends. Everybody stopped worrying about me, so it did make things easier in that regard. However, as I was looking up my own symptoms online, this time I had a new worry. In my research, an article I read said that some people who don't get their period on time may have a disease or a high possibility of infertility. As I dug deeper into it, I was overwhelmed with concern and I decided to put my ego aside and go to a gynecologist. I was still in high school and going to the gynecologist alone took a lot of courage. I transferred trains to get there in order to go to the clinic with a female doctor. There, the doctor spoke very kindly to me, as if I were her own daughter. When I started to tell the doctor how I still hadn't gotten my period, all of my stress exploded, and I started crying hysterically. She got straight to running some tests, and it turned out that my body wasn't producing enough hormones. My ovaries had stopped growing at the size of a middle schooler, and I wasn't ovulating either. In the end, with my number one concern, which was infertility, the doctor told me that it was very unlikely that I would be able to get pregnant. I was so shocked that I was at a loss for words, and the doctor suggested that I should speak to my mother about it. Everything felt heavy as I dragged my feet home, and my mother welcomed me with a concerned look on her face. You're so late. Where were you? You seem a bit down. What happened? I really wanted to tell her everything. I wanted to cry, and I wanted my mom to hold me. But looking at my mom, who looked even more worried, and even more like she was going to cry, I felt like I had to lie. I just went to hang out with some of my friends. <laughs> it was fun. Really? You looked like you had something on your mind. Not at all. I feel great, so don't worry. Well, if that's the case, then good. Let's eat dinner. Looking back now, that was probably my biggest opportunity for me to tell my mom the truth. After missing that chance, I went on to become an adult, and I was still unable to tell anybody about the fact that I still haven't gotten my period. Around the time I turned 22 years old, my older sister Naomi gave birth to her baby. I always loved kids, so I was obsessed with my sister's baby. On the other hand, it only made me more aware of the fact that I wouldn't be able to experience pregnancy myself, and there was a part of me that wasn't able to be genuinely happy. My sister had come back home for a while, and one day, as my mother and I were taking care of the baby, How adorable! It's your turn next, Michelle! I yeah! My mother's words cut deep into my heart. I realized that everybody in the world assumes that every woman would be able to give birth. That it was a given for a female. This was the only life I knew, until a change happened to me when I turned 24 years old. I was working as a full-time employee at an office, and I got a boyfriend. My boyfriend Henry was my senior colleague in the same company. He was the one that asked me out first, but I had actually already developed a crush on him. That's why when he asked me to be his girlfriend, I was so happy that I could cry. 
Once I started dating Henry, my life started to feel fulfilling. He was serious about me, and we often talked about marriage. Three months into dating, he even told me that he wanted to move in together soon. I was, of course, happy to hear that. But I was also hiding the fact that I can't have children. So somewhere deep inside, I felt guilty. Then one day, I brought Henry over to my sister's house. Seeing me shower my sister's baby with so much affection, he opened up a shocking truth right in front of me and my sister. So, you like kids, huh? Do you think about wanting your own? Um, uh, well, yeah, maybe someday. I see. Actually, I have to tell you that I have male infertility. What? So I won't ever be able to have kids. Is that true? Michelle, are you okay with that? I was at a loss for words and stayed quiet, and when Henry saw my reaction, he spoke again. I'm sorry, you must be shocked, but I knew I needed to tell you sooner rather than later. Michelle, I'm so sorry to say this, but if you're really thinking about marrying him, are you okay with never being able to have kids? I would also like to know how you feel, Michelle. I had been hiding my infertility my entire life, even from my own family. That's especially why I couldn't understand how he was so able to openly talk about it like this in front of me and my sister. Why did you just tell me that right now, in front of my sister? I'm serious about wanting to marry you, Michelle. That's why I want you, and your family, to know the truth about me. It would be wrong to marry you while lying to you. Henry... I've never hid my infertility from anyone around me. I talk about it with my friends and my family openly like it's normal. But honestly, this is the first time I've been so scared to reveal it to someone. Because if you choose to break up with me, I would have no choice but to accept it. It was almost as though he was thinking about my feelings before his own. And before I knew it, tears were streaming down my face. But I chose not to hide it from you. Because this is the real me. Even if I'm infertile, I will still want to be confident in myself and live freely. Henry, his words, I instantly felt the weight of the world off my shoulders, and he gave me all of the confidence to speak my truth that I had been hiding for all these years. Now please, don't be shocked to hear this. I am actually infertile too. I've never had my period, not once in my whole life. The moment the words left my mouth, my sister's jaw dropped and her hands went straight to her face. Henry, however, didn't change his expression. He just nodded his head and listened. You know, there are plenty of people out there who marry the person that they love and are perfectly happy even without being able to have children. No matter what happens, I promise I'll make you happy, Michelle. All I ever wanted was not to make anybody else around me worry. And all these years, I held it all by myself. He didn't judge me one bit, though, and instead... That must have been so hard, carrying that weight all alone. He hugged me tight as I continued to cry in his arms. When I looked over at my sister, she was also crying and came over to hug me as well. Once we both calmed down, she said we needed to talk to her mom, and we decided to go home to see her together. When we got there, my mom still didn't know any of this, and she welcomed me and my big sister with a big smile on her face. When I told her there was something I wanted to talk to her about with a serious look on my face, my mother's expression clouded in an instant. I want to tell you the truth. I actually never got my period, not even to this day. What? I went to the doctor, and they told me that I'm infertile. I'm so sorry for hiding this from you. After remaining silent for a few moments, my mom started crying and stood up to come hug me. I'm so sorry. I didn't know anything. I wish I could have supported you more. That must have been so hard. But you have to know that none of this is your fault. Hearing her words, I was so relieved and I started crying again. All I could do was regret that I hadn't told her sooner. After opening up the truth about myself to the people that mattered to me most, I felt like a new person. As I had more confidence in myself, but this was all thanks to Henry, and I am sincerely so grateful to him. Soon after that, we began our chapter of living together, and about a year and a half after we started dating, he proposed and we were officially going to be married. We've discussed that for a while. We want to enjoy our lives as husband and wife together, but he says that if we want to have a kid, that he is considering adopting when the time comes. 
All of those years I spent carrying the weight, almost feeling like a joke. Now that I am happy, lately I've even started to go to meetups with lots of women with the same position as I am. I am so much more open that I can share my experiences with those who are in the same position that I was, and to tell them that they could still find happiness, just like his words changed my life. I hope that we can help more people find positivity and confidence in themselves too. I want to continue paying it forward as I enjoy this new stage of my life. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more!